Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Delicious. My name is Chef Ali Youssef, once again, and I have on board an Italian amazing chef, Chef Dario. What are you gonna cook for us today? Hi guys, uh, today, because I come from Italy, I'm going to show you how to do the fresh pasta from scratch. Nice. You guys ready for that? Ready. We're gonna watch it, how are you gonna do that? Let's do. Let's do it, let's start. Let's you will help me a little bit? What? You will help me a little bit? Of course. Oh, okay, let's do it. As you said in your language, certo. I certo. can help, help you. Okay. Tell me what you want in it. So, what do you the want first things, we need to do the dough. Okay. okay. A, lot of, a lot of people, they think how much is going to be difficult to do it, but it's actually just two ingredients, okay? So, okay. for four people, we are going to use 300 grams of flour. Okay. We can use the all-purpose flour, right? Usually, I remember my grandmother used to do on a big board, but I don't want to make a mess here, otherwise we're going to stay okay. hours and hours cleaning. So, I used to use uh, one bowl, okay? So let's make a, a hole in the middle. So as I told you, just two main ingredients, flour and, and eggs. eggs, okay? So usually the recipe is every 100 grams of flour, it needs one egg, okay? Okay. So for four people, we are going to make 300 grams of flour, so we will use three eggs. Three eggs. So a good tip actually, for 100 gram an egg. Yeah, this is the main recipe. Okay, like the uh, for all purpose. Okay, but then there is some tricks. For example, if you want to do like a, a pasta with a stuff inside very wet, I, I suggest to put a little bit more egg yolk. Okay. Right? But this is, I mean, with this pasta is the one we're making now. I, I, as you can see, we can do every kind of pasta, okay? Nice. So, simply, just put some flour on the eggs, and let's start to mix slowly, break the yolk, and mix it, mix it until all the flour and the eggs are nice and combined together. As you can see, it's very easy, you know? It's simple and easy actually. I've experienced how to make uh, fresh pasta before in, uh, in uh, Cucina Italia actually. Yeah. And it was a great experience, I liked it. And another tip, once you have your dough stuck in your hand, don't use water to go and wash it, just use an extra floor, yeah. right? To yeah. get it off. This is, this is a nice trick, yeah? Because if you wash, you will incorporate some water in the mix. I will not help you. To remove so you know yes absolutely and also i have a question my famous question to my audience mm. uh, when did you start your journey and how old were you ha. so now i reach 35 years old same as my age <laughs> i <Hello>. remember <laughs> i remember uh, my first day in the kitchen was when i was 17 years old so well okay i'm not very good in maths but i think it's past a lot of years yeah Yes, yes. It's, it's gone fast, the, the time has gone very fast, but... Well, to be honest, me too. I was in the kitchen for years, but I've never been on the scenes, actually. I've been heading, cooking for myself, my friends, and that's all. I used to spend, uh, I would say, 75% 75 of, 75 of my life in the kitchen, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> and this is, uh, if you go back and you start to think, say, oh my God. Like a and how, did, how did you see it, how you're cooking? Is it fun? You enjoy it? Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's tough, mainly tough. Mainly tough. But it's okay, I mean, uh, I do with passion, so... Because you realize, when you know to cook, you know, all of your friends, they will... They never invite you to at home. Did you, did you see this? Never invite you to at home. Because they, they, they feel that they've been judged, you know, for their cook. And also, you are three, 365 days cooking, you know? Absolutely, at home also, absolutely. you know? Okay, we reach this stage, okay? Don't worry, because it will come like that. Okay, we'll keep it to rest for a few minutes and we'll get back to you shortly. And here it comes after about 30 minutes and it's ready as you see it. It's like this, okay? Yes. So, now, when the dough is ready, we, are, we can work on it, okay? So okay. I will show you how to do different shapes. You know, in Italy, I don't know if you've ever been in Italy, but every village, every city. Never they been have, there. I'm telling you, every, <laughs> every village, 
and every city they have a different way to do the pasta, different way to shape it, different ways to cook it. Okay, so I come from the south of Italy and uh, mainly this is, is start from the north. Okay, so first things we can do and it's super easy, we are going to do some, uh, let's say fettuccine, okay? Okay. So we need a little piece of our dough. I'm using the machine now, but if you don't have a tomato machine, you can draw it with a pin, okay? I, I'm not using any other flowers on things because this is ready to go, to go like that. Okay. See, these machines, you can't buy them anywhere. Actually. Anywhere, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and uh, even, I mean, in uh, supermarkets here in Bahrain, don't want to mention any one of them, but... Or you can ask, it's all around. You can around. ask your Italian friends because I'm sure Absolutely. every good Italian here in Bahrain, they have one of these, I'm sure. Absolutely. And, and Chef, uh, yeah. I know you became into different cuisines, French to English to... Yeah. Want to tell me more about that? Yeah, basically when I was 17, I start to work in Italy, but then as soon as school, I finished the school, I moved to London. So it was, it was a very good experience. I started to work uh, in a French restaurant and uh, it, was, it was different for me, you know, because from, from uh, the way we cook, the way we treat the ingredients is completely different what they do in France, you know, in France. Okay. Because um, you know, our kitchen, our Italian food is more easy, I would say. You know, we don't, we don't uh, work too much on the ingredient because we have a very good ingredient, you know, so don't need to be work too much. And so it was, was very strange for me to have this long preparation, you know, this long mise en place. You know, it was, it was, it was very good at, actually, it, but it was different. Then I moved and I moved to a typical English food. I, I used to work with, uh, in a Gordon Ramsay group for, for six years and uh, it was very tough to be honest. Very tough, but it's okay, you know, it's, it helped me to, to grow on my career and uh, it was good. All right, we're going for a short break and get back to you shortly. And as you see, um, the dough is almost there. Can I roll it and change the number? Yes. Um, what do you call that one? So we, this one is, the, is the, the size of the pasta you want, okay? It's like, it's like in millimeters. Okay, so we start from uh, ten, one centimeter, which is the thick one, like this. Okay. And then slowly, 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 we pass one millimeter, okay? So I okay. think, I think any, any kind of pasta have different, you know, thickness. Uh, I think for the fettuccine, we are going to live on two millimeters. All right, all because right. Because we need it's a nice thick pasta, you know, when you eat, you want something to bite. It's exactly, but not raw. <laughs> not raw, yeah, <laughs> not I know, raw, yeah. I know in this country. <laughs> In this it's case. either raw or well done here. But also, also in London is the same. They don't like the pasta al dente. It's actually the way we, we eat in Italy, you know. Super al dente, super yeah. nice. I would say crispy. But you know, I've seen it outside of our, my country. Yeah. Having, having said London, actually, uh, yeah. what's the different cooking method between French food, English food, Italian food? What's the exact difference? You've been cooking all, everything. As of my uh, knowledge. Yes. So what I what I seen is um, in London mainly they have like French fusion. You know they have French uh, approach on the kitchen. What does it mean? Long cooking, uh, long preparation. Like uh, the food is like well done and this kind of things like big stock. Yes. In Italy, the difference between the like English kitchen and Italian kitchen. In the Italian kitchen, you will have a mess everywhere. People have fire things like that. In London, in the French cuisine, is everything ready? Is everything? <laughs> Very <laughs> slow. It's you know, easy. this is the little different I've yeah, seen. Okay, okay. Especially in the in the service time, you know, I remember in the in the French restaurant, eh, all the mise en place was ready, all the sauce ready. In Italy, we do mainly everything's fresh a la minute. You know. To me, actually, I've noticed myself. I've noticed that the English kitchen is compared to Arabic kitchen is the same. It's just except without rice, they use uh, either bread or potatoes. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they do chicken, curries, yes. and this is all like Arabic food, but it's different. They don't use a lot of spices and they use only potatoes and bread. You're right. Also because, you know, English and uh, England, Commonwealth, they have a lot of uh, things from uh, India, from these Middle East things, yeah, you know, from true. the Commonwealth. So they have the same, uh, more or less the same. 
So as you can see, I think this is the last time we will passing by the machine because I think now our pasta sheet is ready. All uh, right, great. That, look, uh, at least you, ha you can see through. Yes. Yes, uh, and if you can't see through really, but you cannot use it because it's going to be very thick and difficult to cook. Okay, now I will move this pasta machine a little bit here and I show you some different cuts of the of the long pasta, okay? So okay. we have three main. Pappardelle, which is super wide. Then we have fettuccine and tagliatelle, which is small. You say, why we should have the same pasta, but different lengths? This is something that in Italy we're using for different kind of sauce, okay? If you have a rich sauce, like for example, a nice ragu, uh, or maybe some, uh, you know, like wild meat, you will need okay. a very thick pasta to, to balance the flavor of, the, of, the, your, of your okay. sauce. So, so, okay, that makes but sense. If you make like, for example, a mushroom sauce, so it's very light, very easy, you will need something like uh, to, m more thin, because you want to... You something like goes yes. with it, yes. light, yeah. Correct. Okay, I so... I got your point. Hope you all pay attention and listen what he said. Okay, now, this is another very important thing, because I remember, my grandmother is always like, beat me. You know, we want to make a nice shape of pasta, okay? But of course, we need to make some trimmings, okay? So what we usually do, let's get these trimmings and we throw away. No, man. It's, we need to keep, because I show you later what we're gonna use, okay? okay? okay. Because you remember, like Italian, Italian kitchen, it was a, it's a traditional poor kitchen, okay? So it's zero waste. So zero. let's make our... And that's how the pizza come out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's now, another story. <laughs> now we have our perfect shape of pasta. We are going to use some semolina. Semolina. Yes. Okay. What do you call it in English? In English, we call it semolina. Semolina. Yeah. All right. Is it type of cheese or? No, no, no. This is a flour. Flour. Uh, okay. But it's, the difference is the thickness. You know, the texture is a little bit more. Oh, okay. uh, you know, it's, this is more. It's normal flour, but it's more fine. This one is a little bit more thicker, okay? Cool. It's good to know the Italian cuisine. So, now we need to put both sides. Okay. This is because we don't want then the pasta stick. Okay. So, what we are going to do, we fold it on both sides, okay? And we have this, all right? right. So, let's do the tagliatelle or oh, let's make what do you want to make tagliatelle let's make tagliatelle tagliatelle is more or less one one centimeter wide right one centimeter yeah remember guys the name tagliatelle okay so Some, somebody told me that i have uh, italian blood can yeah? you believe that maybe why not <laughs> i think they you know italian them been everywhere you will find Italian everywhere, you never know. So this is perfect tagliatelle. Perfect. Okay. This is will go very well with the mushroom, with the truffle. This is can go also nice with a nice tomato sauce. Okay, so easy. Nice. Okay, but if you want to make, let's make, for example, pappardelle. I will show you. Pappardelle. Pappardelle. In Italy. Tartardelle, pappardelle. Pappardelle, especially in the north of Italy the north of Italy. This is very famous to use with the, with the game. You know, with like maybe wild duck, if you make a nice wild ragu. So you mentioned that you were working with uh, Gordon Ramsay, which is I'm still actually thinking of, not even thinking, hoping so to work with him once actually and see how bad he shouted at me. Oh. I, I, I don't care. <gasps> Just want to know my truth, how, how is me in the kitchen too? So how was your experience with him? So I have to be honest with you, okay? I work in that company for about six years. I seen him two, two times. Two times. Have you thrown anything on him? No. No, no, I mean, no. it was, it was <laughs> bad, but you know, at, at this level of the kitchen, because it was like, I think the first, ex because I work, I, I grew up in the company. The first experience was one Michelin star. Then I finished in three Michelin star. So 
I believe that not just Gordo Ramsay will shout you. You know, everyone okay. at that everyone level of knows. the kitchen. They but will. he's different, I guess, I believe. And if he's watching, please Ciao, let Gordo. us know. <laughs> We're saying hi to you. And uh, of course, we need you to call up again, me and him, to your kitchen and see how we're going to work with you. I'm sure we're going to do better. Well. <laughs> just, just for the hell of it, as, as they said. That was a very nice experience, to be honest. I learned a lot. I learned a different way to, to see the food, you know? Uh, because it's completely different, you know? It's completely different from, uh, you know, the kitchen uh, you maybe you have at home or in the normal restaurant, you know? Because at that level, it's like the same things that you're working uh, in a Formula One, you know? You know, you have a... Okay, so we did Yes. this one. Let's make a nice shape. Remember this one, we... We keep it, we, we keep, keep it. it. We keep it. It's in my mind, don't worry. <laughs> Same things. Make a nice semolina. Okay, so same things we're gonna roll from both sides okay so if tagliatelle is like this okay pappardelle it will be double on the size oh okay okay so imagine to have this nice pasta this is need to be held like a very nice and strong sauce you know right so like gamey i was telling you you know gamey oh, like oh, wild maybe. duck oh, oh okay all yeah. right Okay, next steps we can do is, I want to show you what you do with this one, okay? So another traditional things in Italy we do, and especially my grandmother, we used to cook maltagliati. What does it mean, maltagliati? When I cut the pasta in Italian, it means io la taglio, okay? okay. So maltagliati means cut it wrong. Okay. So I will cut wrong this the pasta. This sounds familiar to you guys. Uh, <laughs> if you say Mataya is for pilots, I mean, say it in Arabic. Well, what do you say? You it's know, different. It's, it's just you need to cut the pasta in a triangle or any shape you have, you know, and then it will be good for a, for a soup. You know, imagine you have a nice chicken soup, you know, you will drop this. You know, you don't need, you don't need an actual shape, you know, you just cut like that and you will have this pasta. Okay. And you will drop inside your uh, inside your soup, inside your chicken stock. You know? Okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, it looks like uh, they call it all tortilla, so, uh, but it's not tortilla actually. It's different. Uh, it's this, like that's corn, and this is. It's like left leftovers to don't throw away. We call leftovers. Usually, I remember my grandmother used to cook with the beans. It's make like a bean soup, okay. very like watery, you know, not of thick. And then you drop this pasta and. Uh, why she make very watery? Because when you drop this pasta, which is full it's of semolina, it, it, it will thick, make you thicker. So, okay. It will make thicker and you have this nice, this nice, it basically it's one meal because you have protein from the beans and then you have carbo from the, uh, from the pasta, you have a whole meal. We're talking everything very traditional. We go back on the poor of the Howard kitchen, you know, very traditional and poor. So basically it's been rolled in the uh, pasta roller and the dough is ready right there. Okay, the only things we have to do, just cut a square, kind of, a square. And then I will use just a little bit of water, okay? Nothing else, just a little bit of water, okay? And so, we use, the most important things is to use a very good ingredient, you know? Yeah. Like this is one of the dish we have in Nomad. So we use just ro uh, ricotta, ricotta cheese. Okay. Ricotta cheese. I remember doing it in the last season. Yeah. And I show you how to close. So once we have, when we reach this one, we need to put the edges like that. Make sure from each side, remove all the hair inside. Okay. All the hair inside. And then we push it. That's some bullshit. And we close like that. Right. Yes. So like a sailor hat. Yeah. Dario, 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 before we end this one, tell me about this. I, I, I want to be local, you know? You want to be <laughs> local. That's a nice picture of you, man. 
Look like a very rich Saudi man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be local, guy. I love you. Uh, this culture, you know. That's why the reason why I'm here since one year now. Right. Cool. Cool. Now we uh, we're doing the sauce for it, and then we end the episode, right? Yes. So basically, what I'm used for this is just a nice tomato sauce. We boil this one for about in a boiling water with salt for about three minutes. Nothing more. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Uh, Italian food. Now we're going to get the sauce ready. Get back to you shortly. And it's been great fun. And this is, was our episode for today. Thank you, thank you very much, Chef Dario. Thank you very much, guys. You and uh, this is the final dish we did today. And these and more of this kind of dish you can find in the restaurant when I work with the Nomad in Sif area. And uh, this easy and uh, delicious food you can find it there absolutely the italian food is always easy to cook it's just you need to use your mind and your proper recipes from proper people thank you all for watching us uh, simply delicious again we we'll see you next monday don't miss it more surprises coming okay thank you goodbye